Hello, I am Chola Solanki, a Zero Waste activist from Anushakti Nagar, Mumbai. Today, on the occasion of Swachta Pakwada, the presentation is on waste segregation, how it matters and what we can do. Be the change you want to see in the world is the vision given by Mahatma Gandhi. He wanted a clean India for all of us. Following his vision, I am trying to create awareness for Mission Zero Waste India with my media name Cheerful Chola India Ki Zero Waste Saheli. Trying to include out of the box ideas, environmental awareness, emotional quotient and entertainment. Is waste a burning issue? Waste issues are popped up everywhere daily. We come across so many headlines and news so that our mind gets conditioned by the circumstances so much that we cannot see the obvious and we think that things are very complicated. We think that waste issues are complicated while solutions are simple. In our daily lives, we come across so many stories about simple solutions. A few may, you may recall like a soap factory where in packaging line the empty soaps were the issue. One factory installed a heavy x-ray machinery which costed also a lot while the other factory installed a simple fan. Both of them solved the issue but one with complexity the other with simplicity. Likewise you might recall a story of a car stuck inside the factory and only by releasing some air from tires it could come out easily. So we also can find out simple solutions for our waste issues. Why waste segregation at source? Because it is the first basic step towards sustainability and circular economy. Our government is also promoting circular economy through various programs. At present we are into linear economy where what all waste we generate ends up into dustbins. Slowly when we go towards recycling economy, most of the waste generated will get recycled. And as we enter into circular economy through proper mass habit shifts and infrastructural changes, most of the waste that is generated will be circulated in the economy again and only a minimum amount will end up into dustbin. We can achieve this with reduce reuse and recycle principles of sustainability. It's easy to segregate just by developing a process and a few habits. What is zero waste? See this image? A huge smoke is coming out from Devna dumping ground fire during 2016 fire outbreak. The image is taken from NASA Earth Observatory. This was the trigger event for me to think about waste issues and explore simple solutions for these. With my wonderful team Parivartan 360 degree, we have created a lot of awareness in Anushakti Nagar for Zero Waste Anushakti Nagar. What is Zero Waste? The definition you can check out in the slide. But we can always achieve Zero Waste by various means, mass habit shifts and a few infrastructural changes. Radioactive Waste it is handled by you all day in and day out. It is your expertise. Today we will talk only about types of domestic solid waste. You may recall very famous five things like Panch Tattva, Panch Pran, Panch Mahabhut, famous five a book series, uh, Hum Panch TV serial, five Pandavas and many more five such famous things. Likewise, you can reconnect that there are five types of waste which are namely wet waste, dry waste, e-waste, hazardous waste and reject waste. All these types of waste are processed very differently and if we mix it can't be fixed. First one is wet waste that is gila kachra. Waste that is nature made is wet waste. Leftover food, fruit and vegetable peels, rotten food, leaves and flowers, meat, egg, fish, etc. food waste comes under uh, wet waste bin. And did you know that you can reduce minimum 365 single use plastic liners a year from your home or office. How? Keep a small dustbin for wet waste and 
try to avoid single use plastic liner as far as possible encourage bin to bin transfer it's very easy through a process and various simple steps what is dry waste dry waste is sukha kachra waste that is man made and recyclable is dry waste like all plastic paper metal glass thermocol cloth wood rubber polythene leather etc did you know that your waste chips packet may end up in landfills or may get transported far away even 500 plus kilometers to get recycled keep your dry recyclable waste clean and dry and dry waste if soiled with wet or any other waste it mostly ends up in landfills so try to recycle full amount of dry waste by keeping it sorted and neat and clean what is e waste that is electronic waste waste that contains any electrical or electronic parts like we all use daily without which we cannot survive in today's world so all those electrical appliances and gadgets like mobile tv fridge washing machine laptop computer cables and wires batteries etc all come under e waste category for which we need authorized recycling now always collect any small and big e waste separately and encourage other people around you to do so and you can organize a periodic e waste collection drive from your area with central pollution control board authorized e waste recyclers only did you know that if you put e waste into dry waste or you give to kabadi walas then most likely it will end up in landfills or get recycled in unauthorized way and both these situations are very much harmful for the environment as electronic waste is very much hazardous and toxic waste it needs authorized recycling and full material recovery to save environment now what is hazardous waste hazardous waste is waste that can cause any kinds of hazards like biomedical waste that is soiled with any body fluid for example sanitary pads masks diapers bandages family planning tools etc or sharp items like razor blades needles broken glass nails etc or expired medicines and cosmetics chemicals colors paints etc all come under hazardous waste category how to dispose of hazardous waste we have to wrap or pack the hazardous waste in newspaper or cardboard box or thick plastic bag or bottle such that it can't harm anyone and put a big red cross mark on the packet you can hand over this separately or put the packet in dry waste bin so that the person who handles it further knows that they need not open the packet it contains hazardous items Did you know that landfill workers injuries or illnesses can be reduced drastically if we all people responsibly dispose of hazardous waste items the best part is if we can replace our habits with eco friendly products and practices we can reduce the amount of hazardous waste that we generate and it will help save environment a lot last type of waste is reject waste reject waste is waste that is dirty and cannot be processed further goes to landfill uh, like sweeping dust cobwebs filter dust drain waste dyed insects and animals etc from our houses and offices and uh, if we can store this in a used paper or plastic bag inside a bin and hand over weekly or as and when bin is filled after tying the bag did you know that we can save water used in recycling and processing of other waste if we segregate reject waste because this is the waste that uh, reduce the recyclability of the other kinds of waste if it gets mixed so all mixed waste reach landfills and once we segregate at source we can reduce the amount of waste that goes to landfills and achieve zero waste now this is the overall chart of the domestic solid waste wet waste goes to composting vermicomposting or sent to biogas plant 
It makes natural fertilizers and biogas. Dry waste goes to recycling and material put to reuse. E-waste needs authorized recycling for full material recovery. Hazardous waste is either incinerated, processed or dumped and it creates environmental pollution. Reject waste is dumped in landfill and it creates landfills and environmental pollution. This is the basic overall idea about waste segregation but you have to follow rules from local waste managing authorities. This is just a broad overview. Are you Vaishnavjan? Vaishnavjan to tene re kahiye je peed parai jane re was a favorite song of Mahatma Gandhi. We all know that whatever waste we generate is being handled day in and day out by many other people to process that waste and they earn their livelihood with our waste. If we segregate properly, if we reduce our waste and if we practice sustainability, we can always practice non-violence. Segregate waste and practice non-violence daily. Think before you buy. How to achieve zero waste at office levels? There are some ISO standards like 14001 for environmental management system which can be easily targeted by all the office premises and uh, help save environment. Now let us talk about various ways we can achieve zero waste office. Did you know even smallest bit of paper and stapler pin gets recycled if collected separately? With small process and habit shift, we can save lot many forests. Our daily paper cups, glass plates to be replaced with zero waste practices and we should never mix any paper with other waste for 100% paper recycling. Find innovative ways to reuse and cut down on packaging waste and cut paper bins on each table to ensure full segregation. Apart from these, we can always try to reduce our paper usage and uh, involve recycled paper into office stationery. We discuss on how our office canteens can go zero waste. All packaging waste can get 100% recycled. All disposable paper plates, cups, etc. can be reduced to zero over a period with small process and uh, uh, shifts in management. All used cooking oil can get recycled and converted to biodiesel and all wet waste can get composted at source of generation and many of these practices must be followed already in our canteens and a few can get added. Let me ask you a very simple question. What if a small waste particle enter your eye? Most of us will have the same common answer that we will try to take it out from our eyes as fast as possible and we'll make our eye clean. So what if we can generate the same amount of irritation for the waste that is lying outside and we can see that from our same eyes. Our eyes should feel irritated with the waste that is lying outside and we will achieve a very clean India. What is your risk appetite? We all know this term while we invest into SIPs and financial tools. It is the amount and type of risk one is willing to take. Now let me ask you what is your waste appetite? Waste appetite is a new word. It means the amount of waste one can tolerate easily without any feeling of irritation. What is your waste appetite? Is it low when you can't tolerate any waste? Is it middle when you can tolerate quite a lot amount of waste? Or is it high when you are, uh, you are least bothered about any kind of waste that is lying around? If we reduce our waste appetite, we will be achieving a cleaner and better uh, environment for all of us. So let us together reduce our waste appetite. Come on India, let's be waste smart. By segregating our waste efficiently and smartly, we can achieve zero waste over a period definitely. Recently on 21st February, we have celebrated World Mother Language Day. So a little task for all of us is translate this sentence into your mother language. And the sentence is segregate waste, save water, electricity, fuel and environment. Though my mother language is Gujarati, I am trying it out into Marathi. Kachra che vilagi karan kara, pani vachwa, vich vachwa, indhan vachwa, ani paryavaran vachwa. Come on India, let's be waste smart.
थैंक यू फॉर योर प्रेशियस टाइम आई एम चेयरफुल चोला इंडिया की जीरो वेस्ट सहेली इट वॉज एन ऑनर फॉर मी टू बी पार्ट ऑफ योर स्वच्छता पखवाड़ा ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सेलिब्रेशन थैंक यू